Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine. Today I'm going to be addressing the hateful comments that some of you people left on my page over the Madison Bell videos I made. And um, yeah, so if you don't want to hear anything that I have to say, then click off now. Because if you think for a minute that you're going to leave a hateful comment, you're wrong. Because it will get deleted and you'll get blocked and you'll get reported. Okay? So, with that, I'm going to start with the first um, with the first few comments. Uh, people have been coming on my page saying, you were wrong, your cards are wrong, you're full of shit, um, you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know what you're doing. No, bitches, I know what I'm doing. Okay, don't come on my page telling me that I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. Okay, in the first video, if you don't remember, go back and watch it. Because in the first video, I told you that there are two scenarios. If you don't remember that, that is not my problem. Two scenarios. I said it like 15 times as I was reading the cards in the first Madison Bell video. I said there are two scenarios. I don't know how many times I said it. At least 15 times. Scenario number one. She met someone and took off by herself with them. That is exactly what I said. Scenario number one, she took off on her own with the person she met. Scenario number two, she got kidnapped. So how in the hell am I wrong? How in the hell are my cards wrong? Some of you are, I don't even get it. You don't understand tarot? Then get off the page. Because I am sick and tired of getting these Ridiculous ass comments all day. I don't have that kind of time to be trying to erase all these comments, reading them. I don't even read them. I'm just deleting them. Because my cards have never, ever been wrong. Get that through your head now. Am I pissed? Hell yeah. I've been doing this for 30 plus years. Never have I been told I was wrong and I'm not wrong now? My cards gave you two scenarios. One, she met someone and took off by herself. Scenario number two, she was kidnapped. Two scenarios. Do not come on my page. And tell me I'm wrong or I don't know what I'm doing or I'm not credible or I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. In the second video, I said the same thing. There was two scenarios again. Two scenarios in the second video. The exact same thing. And then in the third video that I did last night, I posted that... I figured out why there was two scenarios because she did meet someone that she took off with. Obviously, some of you aren't reading <clears throat> all the um, or aren't watching all the videos all the way through, or you just don't remember. But don't you dare come on my page and tell me that I'm wrong or I'm not credible or my readings are incredible. I just solved a missing case a few days ago. A woman called me, or actually on one of my lives, she told me her son was missing. He had been missing for two weeks. I drew one card, one, and it showed that he was expired. And I told her that. And then a few days ago, she called me and told me I was correct. He had died, and they found his body in the river. I'm the wrong person you want to make upset. And you can take that any way you want to. None of you would like it if, if you it was vice versa. 
and I was coming on your page saying you're wrong, you're an idiot, you're full of shit. You wouldn't like that either. If you don't remember what my videos were about, go back and watch them. Because all three of them told the truth. I've been working with my spirit guides for more than 30 years. They have never been wrong. And if the energy that she, the, all they do is pick up energies for some of you that don't understand tarot. They pick up energy for that day, that moment. Energies change from day to day, moment to moment. She made it appear that she disappeared. That's the energy she was putting out. That's the energy that the spirit guide picked up. That's how it works. They don't sit here and talk to me and have a full conversation. That's not how spirit guides work. They put pictures in my mind. They, they throw words at me. It's up to me to figure it out. And sometimes you can't. Because they're all jumbled up. You think this work is easy? It's not easy. I have seen dark things that y'all probably couldn't even handle. So don't come on my page saying that I'm wrong. Because I was correct. Just like I said, she met someone and took off on her own. Scenario number one. That is correct. I don't care if y'all think that I'm mad or yelling or whatever. Because I am mad and I am yelling. Not at my beautiful subscribers that that um, got my back, no. At the, I'm mad at the idiots that keep coming on my page, the trolls that don't got no life, calling me names, telling me I'm a witch, telling me I'm wrong, I'm not credible, my work's not credible. Well, if it's not credible, then get the fuck off my page. That simple. That simple. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you bring down my page and my energy. I don't got time for that kind of shit. Period. And if you think that Madison is telling the truth, think again. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. Just because she said, or supposedly she said, because no one has heard her say it. That was something that was written on the news. Oh, she says that she's... Uh, wanted to start a new life did you hear it from the horse's mouth did it did you actually hear her say it just because she says that doesn't mean that it's true there's more to this than meets the eye and the truth is coming out eventually the truth is coming out and everybody's gonna be like oh yeah okay i, I see now jasmine was right you think i don't see stuff I'm only allowed to say what my spirit guides tell me to say. Beyond that, I can't. And if you don't know nothing about spirit guides and tarot, then you don't have no room to judge anyone or say anything. Ever. I had to block a few people today because they were harassing me, sending stupid ass messages. I mean, get real. Get real. This is tarot card reading. Look it up. Study it. So you can understand it. Sometimes they give you two scenarios. Sometimes they give you three. Sometimes they don't give you an answer at all. Sometimes they give you a whole different answer from a question that you didn't even ask. Because the spirit guides are going to tell you what they pick up at that moment. If the moment passes and the energy changes, then they're going to tell you something else. Nothing's ever for sure when you're working with spirit guides because they go by energies only. I have 
the last thing I'm going to say is I thank my subscribers that have been with me this whole time, that have been faithful to my page, that have left beautiful comments, that have believed in my work, the ones that call me all the time for readings, haven't had not one complaint, not one. I have people calling me from all over the country, from the UK. And another thing, just because you get the death card, and I've said this many times in my readings, does not mean death. It depends on what position it falls in, past, present, or future. And it depends on what question you're asking. Death card has many, many meanings. It means the ending of something and the beginning of something else. It means transformation. It means death. Depending on the person that's asking, depending on what position it falls on, depending on the situation. All these cards have many, many meanings. This card here, the card of sneakiness, stealing, thievery, prostitution. Now, if someone's not prostituting and they get this card, it doesn't mean that they're prostituting. It could mean that they're just stealing. But what I'm saying is these cards have many, many meanings. Lots of meanings. When I pull them, I, I quote every meaning. It doesn't mean that that's what the person is actually doing. I quote everything I see in the cards. Prostitution, stealing, thievery, sneakiness. I quote everything because all of those are possibilities. I have to catch up on my other videos. Like I've said before, watch at your own risk. If you believe in tarot, that's all great. Come in here, discuss the tarot with me. If you're just here to leave an ugly comment, then be gone. Fly away like a little fly and go land on somebody else's wall before I squish you. Because you don't got no room here. If you're going to leave an ugly, ridiculous ass comment, go fly away. Buzz off. That's all I have to say.